a universe full of interactions, collisions are inevitable. We see them happening all around us in our own solar neighborhood. We have even detected black holes merging to form larger black holes and have also seen galaxies in the process of collision. But when a cluster of galaxies runs into another cluster, then in true sense it's a collision of cosmic proportions. Now, a cluster is a group of hundreds or thousands of galaxies that are held together by gravity. This is cosmically the largest structure that is bound by gravity. About 3.8 billion light years away from Earth, two clusters of galaxies have collided and moved past each other in what is known as the bullet cluster. Why is this cluster called the bullet cluster becomes apparent when we switch to X-rays. When the bullet clusters galaxies crossed each other, their stars easily continued on their way unscathed. This may seem a bit perplexing because the bright light from the stars makes them appear enormous and crowded together. We would expect them to smash into each other during their cosmic commute. But the truth is, stars are spaced widely apart and pass harmlessly like ships on an ocean. The intergalactic gas clouds from the merging galaxies, however, found the going much tougher. As the clouds ran together, the rubbing and bumping of their gas molecules caused friction to develop and got them glowing in X-rays. The friction slowed the clouds down, while the stars they contained kept moving on. Before long, galaxies slipped out of the gas clouds and into clear space, while the gas and dust was left behind. Apart from offering us a view to behold, the bullet cluster also serves as one of the best pieces of evidence of dark matter to date. Dark matter is thought to be some sort of invisible matter that makes the galaxies and clusters rotate faster than they should for the visible matter that they have in them. Simply put, matter at the scale of galaxies and clusters of galaxies does not obey Newton's law of gravity. And to explain this anomaly, Theorists came up with the theory of dark matter. We are not quite sure as to what dark matter is made up of. It could either be a particle that we are yet to discover or simply a force that arises from normal matter. Mond or modified Newtonian dynamics is an alternate theory to dark matter. It explains the faster velocities of galaxies and clusters by proposing modifications to Newton's law of gravitation. If the Mons hypothesis holds good, then gravity in the bullet cluster should be strongest in the regions where most of the matter of the galaxy or the cluster is concentrated. In this case, it is the intergalactic gas glowing in X-rays. There is far more matter in the intergalactic gas and dust than in all the stars of the galaxies put together. So to test Mons hypothesis, astronomers studied the mass of the bullet cluster using two different methods. They first calculated the mass of the cluster by the amount of light it emits in the case of stars and X-rays in case of the intergalactic gas. This confirmed the fact that most of the visible matter is in the intergalactic gas and dust. Next, they calculated the mass of the cluster using gravitational lensing. As explained in an earlier video, the larger the mass, more bent the spacetime around it, which causes distortions in the light from distant background galaxies. If the Mons hypothesis was correct, then the space should have been more bent where most of the matter in the colliding cluster was concentrated. However, in case of the bullet cluster, it was the galaxies of the cluster that bent the spacetime around them far more strongly than the intergalactic gas and dust. This observation confirmed that dark matter is something different and cannot be associated with ordinary matter simply by proposing modifications to Newton's law of gravitation. It is still by no means clear what dark matter is. Theorists are trying to look for it in their equations, while experimentalists are using experiments like the LHC and deep underground detectors to look for dark matter particles. I feel the missing link to understanding dark matter is to understand the workings of gravity at the quantum scale. We know all forces originate at a subatomic level. However, when it comes to the first three fundamental forces, we know exactly the quantum interactions that are responsible for the manifestation of these three fundamental forces. And like the other three fundamental forces, we know gravity also originates at a subatomic level. But we are yet to discover the quantum interactions that give rise to gravity. 
It could be that the nuclear fusion reactions that go on in stars also mends with the force carriers of gravity at the quantum level, leading to gravitational anomalies we see at the scale of galaxies and clusters, the so-called dark matter. It might be a few years or decades before we have an answer to this, but for sure it will be a discovery worthy of a Nobel Prize. And more importantly, with this discovery, we would understand the workings of the universe a little better than we do now.